three that much more lethal than 50? Oh, that's just it. Now, here's the thing. This is by 2050. At this point, the human impact is off the scale. 55% of the global population are subject to more than 20 days a year of lethal heat conditions. Yeah. Beyond that which humans can survive. Sure. Totally so that's 20 days a year. So 20 days each summer, basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that if you step outside, you will die. And so, if you don't have enough hydro to or indoor air conditioning, people will literally just bake in their houses and die. Yep, that still leaves 345 days where you won't. Right, but it's a matter of how many people die in those 20 days. Just enough, I think. And that's kind of my <laughs> thought. Okay, it's just kind of enough. That's just, you know, the ones that, like, you know, the, the and this is going to sound brutal, the, the poor. <laughs> It's really uh, not enough, to be honest. But uh, no, it's still not enough. Um, uh, so there's that. Uh, North America suffers extreme weather events, including wildfires, drought, and heat waves. Oh yeah, because we're not experiencing that already. Yeah, well, look at the wildfires uh, already. We already bitched about that a week ago. That uh, well, sure. I did. Um, uh, monsoons in China will fail. The great rivers of Asia virtually dry up, and rainfall in Central America falls by half. Well, the Great Rivers, we're dabbing them all for electric dams anyway, so what do we care if they dry up? We block them off and kill all the people in India anyway so we can build our giant super mega power dams. <laughs> what the hell? And then we're going to cry, oh, the river's drying up. Well, who cares? We dammed up all the water to make hydroelectric power anyway. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> we dried up the river ourselves years ago. Like, look at, Jesus Christ, you know how many rivers the fucking Hoover Dam destroyed? We don't care about uh, rivers. We pretend we do, but we don't. Not if it gets in the way of our comfort. And Canada has more than enough rivers to worry about anything anyway, so we're fine. And uh, electric power is bullshit anyway. If you look at people who did nuclear power right and people around the world who are using nuclear power and using it properly, um, yeah. why aren't we just doing that and then everything in the world is fine? The freaks in Japan caused that mistake by themselves they, they went in there and they fucked it up same with chernobyl chernobyl they would they number one chernobyl was built out of shitty like pre-war fucking soviet technology of course it was gonna fail yeah uh, and and they screwed it up they went in and they fucked it up they were testing it to see how far it could go before it failed and they went too far yeah there's nothing wrong with nuclear power it's clean it's it's renewable it's it's great and it lasts forever and it's so much better than hydro for the planet but we're denying it because we've got some bone to pick with these two that fucked up. Yeah. And the Japan one was just because of the fact of basically it's just location. Yeah. That's really all that comes down to is just bad location. You can't have it next to a tectonic fucking plate where there's tsunamis can happen. That's just, just that's just dumb. That's just dumb. And anyway. I don't know if it's God or the universe, but they get punished every year for that like that japan gets something brutal every fucking year since then and they fucking deserve it because they're fucking hiding how much radiation is being leaked well it's gonna all have leaked by now how much was in there to begin with <laughs> it's still leaking dude it's still leaking like the sheer volume of fucking of because it's still like i mean that's the fucked up thing people think that just because this much time has passed that that is done and it's oh it's done leaking well, no, you no, don't no. understand radiation, then. <laughs> it's still pumping into the ocean. Two years ago, they were finding fucking fish in um, uh, in um, off the coast of um, Alaska. Which I think need to be named the awesome fish. I think so, too. They, they still only have two eyes. I'm waiting for the six-eyed fucking one to happen. But they actually found high levels of radiation in the fish. That's coming all the way over to Alaska. So... If it's if the radiation is affected, because we all know salmon don't fucking run from fucking China or Japan to here, they don't run that far. No. So if they're if if it's got enough that it's contaminated the fish, in how far is this spread? And it is insane how far this is actually spread, and nobody talks about it. Nobody. This should be a much bigger concern than global warming because this is what's going to kill us way faster than global warming. Because we eat a lot of fucking fish. Yeah, and we should. I always knew fish was bad for us. Yeah. Fish, 
fish, and you can't trust a fucking farm fish because the most of these places that do it because they need to get such high numbers, the water is not clean and the fish are all contaminated from that anyway. That's why I've always said my whole life, you know, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. Teach a man to steal, and you might get something other than fish every fucking once in a while. It'd be good. You might get some fucking good beef. Right. <laughs> maybe that was the whole thing. We shouldn't have eaten fish. Maybe that was the beginning of the end for us. We are never meant to eat fish. Oh, my God. Does that mean we can blame Jesus? Jesus well, yeah. So we can he blame did. Jesus he also turned water into wine. Well, that's great. Now we're having a drought. We're worried about the rivers drying up. Thanks for making it all into wine. That's useless. At least we can all be drunk while we burn to death. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, as long as it's red wine, if it's white wine, you got to, you know, you got to chill that shit. That's just going to be gross. So it's got to be red wine. And that's something that was never actually clear. What kind of wine was it? Was it red or was it white? Apparently it was red wine. Well, yeah. Uh, well, I, I assume because it's like that, then they get to drink wine at church and say it's blood and stuff. That's right. So my um, question is, how do you take a clear liquid and turn it into a red alcoholic liquid immediately, and you're not going to call this guy a shyster? Come on. Come on. Think about it. Well, come, on. come on. Come on. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking think, about it. Think. Come up with a fucking reason. You can't. It's fucking stupid. It makes no sense. No, nothing about it does. Um, magic. They were all high on rye, boldy rye bread. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. They were all seeing things. It never happened. They just they lost their appetites. They're all stoned. Did he make that into like 30 fish? Did we all eat? Yeah, man, we ate. No, I don't think I ate. Yeah, you ate, dude. No, yeah, man, you ate. We're just hot. <laughs> but I'm still hungry. <laughs> Have some fish. <laughs> Well, th th then they just inve invented, like, Lent. Oh, I'm still hungry. Well, you have to fast for the next month, so fucking yeah. deal with it. No, that's just, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stupid. It, it was, see, when you actually sit and discuss it like this, you realize how absurd it actually is, and you just go, what? Why does anyone believe this crap? Yeah. Um, and that's not just... But that's okay, because uh, before I get uh, too far off the trail here we'll say why we're discussing all this we're discussing all this because it was brought up today because if you go over to the ericandgard.com website you will find the introduction to what is going to be probably the most epic thing to happen on the planet ever and that's the uh the the new <laughs> 21st century <laughs> the new 21st century revision of the holy bible written by yours truly um, I always knew this was my calling in one way or the other because Jesus and I have very similar paths. I'm not going to lie. We're, we're, we've both been forsaken. Um, and uh, and we there both... was that time you were strapped to that cross with, with nails. Yeah, I remember that. That was a bad weekend. Metaphorically, absolutely. <laughs> um, I, I've, I've had the stigmata metaphorically speaking i also have often woke up in a cave thinking i was dead for three days <laughs> more than once <laughs> oh that's fucking grand and uh, yeah not not so much when it happens to you um i mean it happened to fucking rambo yeah right and the rocket launcher in a fucking cave. He again, appeared. again, um, very, very similar lives. Me, Rambo, and Jesus were like three peas in a pod. And uh, a lot of all of our stories took place around hope. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Which, again, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> My car broke down in Hope one time when I was going to see Pearl Jam in Vancouver, and I had to hitchhike to Vancouver. That's kind of like wandering the desert for 40 days. And Rambo was filmed in Hope. It all yep. came together. <laughs> it, was, it was all to bring us to this point right now, which is the point of realization by Eric and Gord. And what's crazy about that is that the Rambo story took place in the Rocky Mountains. Um. 
and I was there kind of at the same time going to see Pearl Jam. No, it was like 20 years later, but it's, you got to tie it together. We don't know what days are. I just learned that today. We don't, days could be right. anything. That's a weird, it's a, they haven't figured that out yet. Oh my God. By the way, speaking of time, I got something that's going to blow your mind. Uh, it, it can't be blown any more than it already is. I'm going to attempt it. You ready for this? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So, um, as, science has proven is that when you die your brain still functions for i think it's like um what is it it's like it's, it's like uh, like 14 minutes or something like that right so uh, that bright light you're seeing is just the doctor checking your pupils to see if you're alive but you think it's heaven well there's that but no but they say that in that in that time period what happens is is you you relive your entire life day by day in that 14 minutes and because at that stage you are out of body so there's no concept of time um what would seem like it's only lasting for 14 minutes actually lasts for your entire lifetime and you replay your entire life that goes through it so the question is is what if we're all dead but we're just reliving we're in that final 14 minutes of our lives we're just reliving our lives right now um isn't that a fucking that's a stoner fucking concept if I've never fucking heard one before in my life. And <laughs> really why again, what does it matter? That's really I come back to I'm trying to think about what a reason why that matters. Uh it doesn't. No, maybe, it doesn't maybe, at all. Maybe you're totally right. Maybe that is the case. Either way, we still gotta live our live our lives, right? We still got to go through it. We don't have a fucking choice. But if we now go through life knowing that we've already died, we've already hit our demise, does that not, could that not change how it is that we would start living the rest of our lives now? I don't think so. I think because we'd be too, we'd be like uh, too afraid to like, oh, well, maybe this isn't when I'm supposed to die. I better not do this weird thing. Because we wouldn't know it now, and we'd be all, we'd be if we were conscious of it, we'd be thinking about it all the time. Oh, I wonder if this is when I die. Shit, maybe I'd better be extra careful today. Right, which means that you could actually change the course of what would have normally happened had you had not known this fact. Maybe. Interesting. And then, and then just disappear in a puff of logic. And that's it. Just all of a sudden, Thanos snapped his finger. We turned to dust. Uh, yeah, someone tried to take me to that movie the other day. Should have gone. Oh, no. I can't go to the last one before I see all them. That's just weird. No, you have to see. You at oh, least have to see oh. two first. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, just, no, I'm not, I'm not going. You know what? I, I think I'm going to keep with my streak. I haven't seen a movie in a theater since, I believe, about 2010. And what was it? Uh, 21 Jump Street. <laughs> was the last movie I saw in a theater. And I think yeah. I'm just going to stick with that. I think I'm just not going to movies anymore. I think it's going to be my new thing. Is like, because I haven't even seen a new movie. I, I honestly can't name the last new movie I saw. Um, I don't have a clue. Like, like on Netflix or something. I have no idea what the last one I saw was. Um, because I don't ever do anything for entertainment. I'm always working on this goddamn podcast. I don't even. I don't even listen to music anymore. I just listen to podcasts. Like that's that's. I have no. I do nothing to entertain myself other than talk to you once a night. <laughs> so, I, I think I'm just going to stick with that. I, 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 I'm just going to be the guy who's never seen a movie since. That's it. That's cool. That's uh, see, but I have to say though, I would be awfully disappointed if knowing that the last movie I saw was Twenty One Fucking Jump Street. I'd be a little <laughs> disappointed with that. I'd cool. go to see another movie first just to say, okay, at least it wasn't Twenty One Fucking Jump Street. I may have seen something newer since then. In fact, I'm sure I have. But that's the last one I saw in theater. So okay. I, I had Netflix for a spell. Uh, and, uh, when was that? Before I moved back to Vancouver from North Van. So uh, three three years ago, four years ago, I had Netflix for a little bit. Uh, I must have saw a movie then. I'm sure I did. Couldn't, couldn't tell like you what that. it was. <laughs> um, I do have something else that we can talk about, by the way. Okay. So I would like to, I would actually be interested to know your opinion on this. I would like us to start doing that every episode from now on. I really got to buckle down and, and put this fucking thing back together. That's fine. We'll get there. Um, so, as we know, the Raptors uh, played the game two. Right. Uh, yeah, yesterday. 
and uh, they lost. <laughs> um, so 